Welcome to Together. My name is Janis Drogaag and I have a very special guest for you today. Edwin Diender, Chief Digital Transformation Officer at Huawei, working at the moment from Bangkok, and we're going to have a great conversation about connectivity, about opportunities, and when you know me, also about cybersecurity. Edwin, welcome back. This is our third session already on, on Together, and I really enjoy how you share your insights and your thoughts, but also challenges uh, with us and with the audience. Today, I would like to talk to you about smartly connected. We hear a lot about smart cities, and, and that gives me two feelings. Number one is I'm tech savvy. I love every kind of technology. I just can't wait, but I'm also a cybersecurity advisor for organizations with the focus on the human element. And that keeps me up at night. The more and the fast technology deployments that we get compared to how we are currently struggling with making sure that the technology is safe and can be used in a secure and inclusive manner, as we discussed previous time, I see a conflict there. You developed the universal framework for smart city construction. Something that I really, um, I, just the title alone gets me excited because the framework for me says that you're also looking at a foundation based on which you can build a horizontal layer as we discussed. What role does cybersecurity play in that framework, Edwin? A lot, I would say. And thank you again for, for having me. And thank you for referring to the universal framework for intelligent city construction. Because as I progressed and as I moved on, I've, uh, I've learned, I've decided for myself that smart doesn't really cut it. And I've said it many times. I don't think a smart city is a smart city. For one, it doesn't exist. Uh, it doesn't exist because if you look at the definition of smart, in any dictionary, if you would then apply it to a city, I'm sure you agree, no city fits that definition. So according to the dictionaries of smart, of, and the meaning of smart, if you put it on a city, smart city does not exist. But what exists are cities. What also exists are initiatives and programs. And what also exists are platforms that allows these programs and initiatives to be linked. So where does this universal framework for smart city construction or intelligent city construction comes from? It comes from looking at Rubik's cube. Um, Rubik is a mathematician in the early seventies. He wanted to create something with pieces and these pieces should be able to move independently without breaking a structure. So he was thinking about creating a structure in which its pieces or from which its pieces can move independently without making it fall apart. And I thought that's a very good metaphor. It's a very good analogy to how we in the organization that I represent look at integrations, serviceability, technicalities, features, functionalities, but also at platforms. We often talk, we really use the word building block in many of our messages. So if we consider Rubik's Cube as a structure that allows its pieces to move independently without making it fall apart. I think I got the greatest, really the greatest visualization of a framework that allows its building blocks mm -hmm. to move independently without making it fall apart or breaking it fall apart. And that is what it is because the wireframe that holds it all together represents that framework. And within that framework are many capabilities. For example, the center and core pieces of this framework, of this infrastructure, of these building blocks, represent an intelligent operations center that we pitch, that I pitch, as the brain and a nervous center for intelligent cities. The edge or the support pieces are, of course, the ecosystem and eco partners because you know it's it's not a one it's not a one game thing. Mm -hmm. It's an all and everybody combined, but it's another piece in this universal structure. But the most important one. Of course, like every construction, like every framework, and every foundation are the cornerstones. And the cornerstone of a smart city foundation, of an, the cornerstone of an intelligent city foundation is safe city. And within safe city are different elements working together to create the safety and security environments needed. 
and a strong part of that, of course, of course, also sits to the to the digital, to the information, to the cyber side of the equation, because an intelligent city is not just digital; it's also a combination of physical and digital combined and work together. There is no digital person moving back and forth. Digitally, a person can move back and forth, but the person itself does not. Mm -hmm. For example. So if I am one of these residents in a city and normally speaking, I have to go to city hall. I have to take the day off. I have to stand in line, get a, get a little number that says 18 or 21 because there's a number of people in front of me because I need to wait before I can talk to someone behind the counter who is asking me questions behind the computer, asking me, is this still your address? Is this still your postal code? Your passport number is still like that, you know, yada, yada, yada. And the only thing I want to do is renew my driver's license. So what if, what, if, what if we turn this screen of this person behind the counter around and bring it to me, bring me my own screen. Let me check for you if my name is still spelled correctly, if my birth date is not flipped around, if it's not 28 or 820 or 155 or 5, whatever, if it's, you know, and so on and so forth. It takes away a huge amount of unnecessary time for the person behind the counter to do this, but it also saves me a whole lot of time because I don't need to take the day off and so on and so forth. So the safety and security component within this universal infrastructure is embedded through and through. And if you think about the following, if you think about one cube, right? Nine squares, pieces, building blocks, and they can move independently without making it fall apart. If this is a digital platform that supports all these services for programs and initiatives to be integrated and to be combined and to help move a part of the city or the whole city higher up the value chain, then this one cube can be linked with a cube number two and number three and number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? It clicks, but if I then turn it around again, if I make the same move, if I try to make these pieces move together again independently, it also works. So this framework is not just one cube where it goes through, but it's also a framework that is linking each and every other program, other initiative that is more or less integrated, connected, touched, already part of this invisible wireframe that allows these pieces to move independently without making it fall apart. Because if you want to see how that works, look at a Rubik's cube and you see how it works. That's, a, that's a, it's an amazing uh, description. Um, I love how you also touch, um, because that is always my starting point. The humans, the people, the human beings functioning within this environment and, and how, we, um, how we have to basically collaborate with the technology or make the, the technology collaborate with us just to even get value out of it. One of the things in, in the past, let's say three, four years is, and especially compared to intelligent cities, I will now scratch smart cities out of my, my uh, vocabulary. But <laughs> when we look at intelligent cities, blockchain was going to make everything possible and everything fantastic. I'm still waiting for, for like the actual uh, benefits. But one of the things I really appreciate about the blockchain concept, which by the way, is not from, from the past five years, that concept is from the 80s, <clears throat> is creating an encryption-based security concept as part of the data and not on top of the data. And that's the thing which I would love to see in, in intelligent cities that the security and, and the encryption and the protocols around that become part of the information and not something outside because as soon as you break that outside protection you have everything you want to see true when we, so if you look at the different building blocks that comprise all these different systems and services you can surely imagine how on each layer every level um every detailed piece of the puzzle so to speak uh, is part of this universal framework. This universal framework allows its pieces, its building blocks, and it's, if each building block is already a secured 
block itself. It has a lot of capabilities built in from a security point of view, from a safety point of view, from a from a assurance point of view, from a from a guarantee point of view. If that's already in, in and from the building block, if I bring this block into this universal structure, it might be so that all these safety and security measurements from this block are being able to provide or provision its safe and secure connectivity layer to the other block so it can share, so to speak. But it can also close itself off. Because as I said, this framework is best visualized by a cube. And it is pieces that can move independently without making it fall apart. So if it is needed for this particular block, this particular piece, to be as secure as it can be possible for itself, it can still move independently without breaking the structure of this universal framework. Mm -hmm. In addition, it can provide its settings to other building blocks. Each other building block of scores itself also, also has their own, has its own measurements, counter measurements, precautions, and what have you. Um, and that's in the design, uh, that is in the build up, that is in the implementation. But I also think throughout the conceptualization of all these different systems and services and the development of all these different systems and services, safety and security, information security, privacy, privacy protection, uh, encryption, uh, tunneling, secure connectivity, as we talked in the previous interview about, um, secure included connectivity that we talked about uh, previously, really can be easier embedded, I think, and follow through with from such a framework. And that makes it by itself as well included. <laughs> that's a, yes. That's, that's, that's that's, that's yeah, it's a, it's, a univer it's a universal inclusive framework for intelligent city construction. We, we I, I just, found a new hook. We just Thank keep relabeling the, um, the, 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 all the tech uh, building blocks in these sessions. <laughs> yeah. What I really appreciate. But I think you get the you... point. I think you get the point about the meaning and the thinking behind it, right? And I think you get the exactly. point about the baseline and what started the thinking of all of this. But if you look at our solutions, if you look at our solutions for the different industry domains, all these solutions are built with this in mind, are built from this principle of this framework. Even if we didn't even know about it, it is connected with it. The mobile broadband infrastructure that links us all, doesn't matter what logo that network carries, is already there and it bridges us, right? Wherever I am in the world, I can send you a message and you can reply the moment you receive it. You can even choose not to. How's that for freedom, right? <laughs> so regardless of where you are, so it, it, is an, it is another form of an example of a, of a framework that's horizontal. It's all around us already, and, and we can just leverage it. I, w I would even go as far as taking the city out of the equation and, and, and um, talk mm -hmm. about society, an intelligent, connected society where mm -hmm. technology is becoming, and it already is. Um, you, you mentioned the cell phones. You mentioned uh, we have all those topics. They're so integrated into our lives that people struggle if you take it away for 24 hours. And I recommend to take every now and then a digital diet for, for a few days to just be away from all the fuss and enjoy everything else. But it has become a significant part of our lives. And it is, at the moment, literally can be life-saving if you look at, at the um, contact tracing apps, which basically helps all of us as a society to respond much faster if there was a risk contact. So it's, it's become crucial, it's becoming important. That framework to build it from the ground up in not only a secure and inclusive manner, but also in an integrated way. So we don't need every building block to be built before we can start using it but every right. component contributing and adding and, and, and being interchangeable. Um, right. The wonderful example of 4G is going to be replaced by, by 5G. Let's hope that we do not have to tear the city down because we're changing a communication standard. Let's, let's, let's build those societies in a- True, yeah, and I, I don't think we will change. I don't think we will change. I think it will be more of a transformation. 